hey guys welcome to part 7 if you're not yet subscribed do so it will help you with aws as your google cloud certifications okay you have come here you're building a prediction model for large number of features and then you find out that the features are very highly correlated now you have to reduce the impact of such large number of features what do you need to do will you perform one hot encoding what is that the as it is you have highly correlated features that means it will have a lot of redundancy plus you are going to use one out encoding it will amplify the redundancy it will become more and more redundant due to this okay what will be the problem what will be the problem if you do that see it can lead to overfitting and decrease the model performance not good okay then what about uh, option b matrix uh, multiplication when you have uh, see your features are highly correlated that means there is redundancy when you multiply that it will again amplify right if you multiply that means it is already having redundant features now it will become more redundant and what is the danger it will give you ill condition matrix what does it mean that means even if you add small changes in the input matrix the output result would become unreliable so b is wrong and now let us look at d that is your pearson correlation so this is actually a statistical tool why we use this to measure linear relationship between two continuous variables but here we already know that there is correlation we don't need this guy to tell us that there is correlation we already know so don't choose option that you already know so in this case pearson correlation would not fit so the only answer here is pca we call it principal component analysis it reduces the number of features and that is how you remove or reduce redundancy so it performs dimensionality reduction normalization and regularization so it applies these techniques to prevent overfitting okay and normalization to reduce the impact of correlation remember we have highly correlated features it will reduce that impact so in this case our final answer would be option c we will create a new feature space using principal component analysis okay next question here see you are a specialist and you are implementing a bayesian network so it is also called bayes network if you are dealing with uncertainty then we use this is there uncertainty yes there are random variables uh, it represents the number of minutes new yorkers wait for bus now you have to tell what probability distribution you will use see the variable is random okay random variables it is discrete random variable is discrete so will you use a uh, uniform distribution will it help you see we use uniform when we are dealing with certainty right now we are dealing with uncertainty because the moment they are using bayesian network they are dealing with uncertainty so uniform distribution will not work okay what about normal distribution it is also called gaussian distribution so it creates a bell shaped curve primarily for continuous random variable but our random variable is not continuous our random variable is discrete so we cannot use this bell shaped normal distribution now let us think of binomial distribution see it is a statistical tool to get certain number of successes probability like if you are flipping a coin 10 times then you want to uh, understand 
what is the probability of getting success eight times you use binomial distribution but in our case it will not fit the bill we will have to go with poison distribution see this distribution is very special okay it uh, works with this unknown uncertain kind of things it is designed to model situations where events happen at a average rate within the fixed interval in our question like this is a fixed interval okay and we have some kind of average uh, rate and if these events are independent of each other okay that is what uh, poisson distribution is used for so our final answer is option a poisson distribution so in the next question you are making use of sage maker okay and this service you can use for building training machine learning models so the problem is if you give access over internet they are thinking that it is not secure somebody can run their code on our instances and through that they can hit the data also so the company says was all instances should be within a secured vpc and with no internet access and data communication traffic must stay within aws it should not uh, go via internet so the moment i see this i can only think about endpoints endpoints in this case my answer would be option c where i will associate sage maker notebook with a private subnet in a vpc i keep it private because uh, it should have no internet access and it should be in a secured vpc since it says it should be secured vpc i am securing it by putting a private subnet in a vpc and then it says was all communication you should do within aws network okay so we have to use s3 vpc endpoint and attach sage maker vpc endpoint to it so that within aws itself it will talk with s3 also and no routing through internet will happen see nat gateway could be a could have been a solution but here with endpoints we can talk we don't need a uh, nat gateway see nat gateway is like i still have to go to internet like people in internet want to talk to you but you are a queen you are in a castle the queen is in the castle so the queen will not talk to people outside but the people outside could uh, and i want to communicate so that way <coughs> nat gateway it can happen so actually it is reverse nat gateway you know the queen can talk to others but others cannot talk to queen so queen can talk to people on internet nat gateway is meant for that but here it is not required because you are not going to use internet at all we are using endpoints so who told you this option this answer the question this told us okay so d will not work and b is saying that i will manage this through iam policy so iam policy is just for who can access who cannot access it will not help you with this kind of network kind of things where you have vpc endpoints and so on and a is saying they will place sage maker endpoint and s3 bucket within same vpc no so today you have to do this but tomorrow day you also want to talk with maybe aws redshift then what will you do will you put every keep on adding everything to a vpc no and it will not be secured because somebody can still screw you up that's why we are saying only this secured vpc you should you should split sage maker so that uh, the data and 
see always remember from security point of view you do not keep the username and password in one place keep username separate and password in a separate place that is the concept with option a also this op we cannot put both together that's why a is wrong so our answer would be option c only so if you have not yet subscribed do so so this is the end of this part seven we will post many more such parts in the coming weeks